Welcome back to the Audi RS6. I've just turned up at West London Audi, and as the name of this video would suggest, today is Exhaust Day. Now, I've had the RS6 for just over 18 months. It's coming up on 12, 21 and a half thousand miles in that time. This thing really does get used. Um, and this is now the opportunity to essentially breathe an extra lease of life in the car. So, as is convention with exhaust videos, we need to give you guys a before and after. So let's pull up now, show you guys how it sounds with the current stock exhaust, and then let's fit this Akrapovic and see what it's all about. Yeah, so West London Audi, for those of you who might not know, is it's definitely the flagship store for Audi in the UK. It's actually huge. But what you can't see is that it's actually bigger subterranean than it is upstairs. And upstairs, I think they've got like three stories or something like that. So, And that's where this car will go. So what you normally do when you drop off a car here, you bring the car in, this nice clean environment, and then in a minute, someone's gonna take this car downstairs for us, uh, where all of the magic happens. And you actually wouldn't believe what's downstairs. It must have taken them, I don't know how long to excavate all of the earth to build this place. Anyway, let's give the guys the keys, and then uh, check out this exhaust. Here we are, two stories underground. First things first, do you remember that scene in Independence Day? <laughs> where they go to Area 51 and they open up those big double doors and there's this massive subterranean cavern full of awesome stuff. That's kind of like this, only the spaceship has been swapped for an R8. And of course the RS6 is over there, but I just wanted to give you guys a feel of just how big this place is. Two stories underground and just look at it. They keep going on and on and on. They've got service down here, they got wash down here. I don't even know what this bay is, but the amount of stuff down here is crazy. Now, when you, I'm not sure, basically, for any of you guys who haven't driven past West London Audi, uh, you drive past it on a big flyover, um, and the building towers above that. It's like three or four stories high, and then square footage, it's even bigger underground. So just to be here is, a, is an experience in itself. Anyway. RS6 is down here. Uh, it's been brought down by one of the team here, I believe, for insurance reasons. Um, and now we're going to go check out the exhaust. So, what lies in here is the new exhaust kit that is going to be going on the RS6 shortly. Uh, let's, let's start to get it out, and I shall tell you a bit more about it. Once, I sh once we get this thing out, I shall explain a bit more and why, first of all, I've opted for this exhaust system and what's special about it. First of all, what's special about it is Components are lightweight. What is this? Oh man, this is. There's some engineering porn going on here. So, first component, look at the beauty of this. Look how finished and clean it is. Now, first thing we see here, this is the Akrapovic symbol. Now, the significance of this exhaust is that while it is an Akrapovic system, it has been developed directly with Audi. The number one reason why I chose this is that it is basically an official Audi Sport certified product, which means aftermarket exhaust, but the warranty on the RS6 is still valid. That is huge. Most aftermarket pipes, as soon as you stick them on a car, you're gonna have all sorts of warranty issues. Um, if you're not familiar with Akrapovic as a brand as well, or Akrapovic, I don't know how to say it right. Um, yeah, these guys have been in the game for a long time. Uh, basically famous for quality and their craftsmanship with titanium. Yeah, it's a really tricky job to make components like this, but the trade-off, uh, not only is it beauty, but of course, weight. Uh, this exhaust is eventually gonna shave off eight kilograms over this stock system. Um, but of course, after that, the way that titanium resonates gives it such a nice, a really nice sound. So, yeah, it's beautiful. Look at it. I mean, it really is a fabulous thing. Look at the, the detail on this. Absolutely stunning. So, let's unpack this and uh, see what the, the full system looks like laid out. And then we'll compare components and see what the stock stuff feels like and looks like compared to titanium and stuff.
Now this, arguably, despite everything that I've just put forward as to why, the main reasons as to why I went for an official Audi Sport exhaust, these things here, the trimmings, the sort of exhaust tips and shrouds, might just be the number one reason why it clinched it. Because it's really in keeping with the carbon diffuser at the back of the car. So check this out. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> so yeah, beautifully finished. It's in satin carbon with the official Audi Sport logo here. Krapovich there, and it's just again titanium through and through. Beautiful. Let's go and check out what this looks like at the back of the car. So, we've got a nice carbon shroud here. This is the current exhaust, and this is the new tip. I mean, sculpturally significant. It's beautiful, uh, and I think once it's in there, it's, it'll be it'll fit flush, and it has all of the right markings. And yeah, I think it's just going to integrate. Beautifully, but basically, once I saw that, that was it. So, here we are, the underneath of the RS6. I always find it fascinating to go underneath your own car, uh, if not just to check that everything's okay. But as you can clearly see, here's the exhaust right here that we're gonna be swapping out. This is much more of a conventional steel unit. Um, the car's been on the road for about 18 months now. It's done quite a lot of miles. Looks like we've got some, is there some blowing going on here? I shall ask Christoph and find out what's what. Do have no marks here but you do have some marks here so yeah. of course there is slightly a leak here yeah. but most probably during the time that's going to seal up itself right. like the exhaust is bedding in the temperature the material expands sure and that was as it looks like right at the beginning and it's going to be cool. fine now yeah sure but we're gonna well now it's going to be cool because we've got a new yeah, exhaust exactly. man <laughs> brand new titanium kit going in there now swap it all out this is exciting size difference, much shorter throw there. This one would be interesting. It's starting to cool down enough, which is, which is good. Let's just have a seat how that feels. I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, obviously size, okay, but notice the diameter of it. The size of the pipe itself is much larger compared to the standard silencer. And the weight, honestly, at least half. That's crazy. This is the major component. This is basically the full exhaust system, almost from cat, not quite cat back, it's silencer's back. Thanks. We're going to uh, glove up and do a weight test and see. Just to see how this thing feels. Alright, alright. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is. I think that goes quite a lot of weight in that, isn't it? Yeah. Wow, that's mad. Okay, so you can see an original actuator here. We've just removed one from this back box there, and it now just slots right in to the Akrapovich kit. And this is what's really cool about, I guess, these two companies working so closely together. Everything just fits, it works, it's proven, it's tested. Yeah, it gives me a lot of confidence seeing it, actually, that I know that everything going on the car is, is well built. Um, basically, certified Audi, so. It's past all tests, should be good to go. Yeah.
Here it is. So instead of treating you to this audible delight in the middle of London, I decided to stretch its legs out into the countryside so it can really open up its voice box and see what this new exhaust is all about. Now, before we really open up the taps and I give you a sample of it, I've gone through the primary reason why I went for the official Audi Sport exhaust. I guess the biggest thing is the warranty. Uh, this doesn't invalidate the warranty. It is developed in conjunction with Akrapovic, but it is an Audi official part. Like it's actually a part list that you can order directly from them, hence them being able to officially fit it for me at West London Audi. The other thing is, it's important to remember that this is still a daily driver. Uh, and while it's absolutely rapid and grunty, it's not every day that I'm wringing its neck. And of course, on longer journeys, you don't want to have that constant drone that you can sometimes get with aftermarket exhausts. Now, I didn't actually do a great deal of research uh, into any other exhaust, so I can't confidently compare them. However, there's one thing that I was confident of, and that was if I was gonna fit an Audi part, I knew it was going to be right. I knew that it wasn't gonna drone at me at every stretch of the way. And sure enough, my journey to the countryside involved some motorway driving, and it was fine. So going back to... <laughs> Hold on a bit. Oh, wow, it's just enough of a purr. It's honestly perfect, and I know obviously it sounds like I'm incredibly biased towards this system because I've just installed it on my own car, but it's exactly what I was after. Because it's a daily, it's not intrusive, but there's enough of an audible augmentation to give your eardrums just another level of appreciation for the fact that you are driving something packed with a load of punch. It's 605 horsepower, this thing, and while I do daily it and I like to waft along in relative silence and comfort when I switch this thing to animal mode I want it to roar at me and now it's just enough oh, it's beautiful like this undertone of right it's just enough growl now as I mentioned during a fitment stage full titanium system um, it resonates differently not only is it a bit louder but the whole thing just sounds different to the stock stainless system and that I assume is predominantly because of the way that this exhaust material resonates and it's just right. Anyway, we've heard how it sounds on the inside, let's hear how it sounds on the outside. an accomplished all-rounder perfect for this time of the year as you can see conditions not ideal car perfect I don't know I'm not sure if there's any other car that ticks quite as many boxes as this it is complete man and now with this exhaust it's also got that 
pizzazz that I think beforehand, don't get me wrong, it wasn't dull, but now it's got this, it sounded so good. So there we have it. The introduction and fitment to the Audi Sport Akrapovic titanium exhaust system. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. No doubt over time this exhaust is going to bed in and develop an audible character of its own, which I'm very excited to share that journey with you. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Ciao.